recording. Okay, so as you guys know, we've been learning uh, about the simple present. Uh, however, we hadn't learned about the third person. Let me start. Let me start sharing. Do you see the screen? Yes. Good. Thank you. All right. So the third person. Do you guys remember what were the third person pronouns? We had three. Mm -hmm. he, she, she. Good, good job, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. So yes, uh, the definition is still the same. Luis, can you help me read him, please? Uh, Okay, a simple present describe habits, routines, facts, and truth. Thank you. Uh, this one, uh, it's habits. Okay. Habits. Yes, good. Thank you. Um, let's see, William, can you help me read him, please? Okay. We use the third person form of a verb to talk about pronouns, he, she, and it. Only, only we also use it in affirmative sentence only. Good, thank you. So what, I'm, what does this mean? That um, if you guys remember for the negative sentences, we had the auxiliaries, do and thus. Um, we use the verb in the base form. We don't modify it for a third person because we have the auxiliary. Same thing happens for the, for the questions. If we have the auxiliary, we don't have to modify the verb. All right. Uh, let's see. Structure. Mm. Ariel, can you read it, please? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, structure, subject, she, he, she, it, plus verb, s, s, plus complement, examples. She goes to sleep at 1 a.m. every day. He exercises every morning. Good. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, I don't. I don't know if you guys have ever seen verbs that end with s. Um, you only use it for these three, three subjects: he, she, and it. You you will not use it for this one. For this one, no. Only for he, she, and it. Okay. Uh, Teacher. Yes. There is someone in the chat that says that. He needs uh, access code for the meeting. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll send it then. Wait. Hello. Yes. Um, Hello. Um, can access already the class. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Thank you. All right. So um, for the ones joining right now, we are still learning about the simple present. However, we're uh, focusing on the third person. Diana, uh, we said this yesterday. Do you remember what are the third person subjects? Yes, of course, the third person subject are uh, she, it, and he. Good job. Thank you. All right. Okay, so uh, we're still with this um, under the same definition, habits, routines, facts, and truth. Okay. So any questions with the structure, guys, before we move on? No. No. Okay. Okay. 
uh, rules. We have rules for this because we have regular and irregular uh, verbs, sorry. So they, um, they have to be modified in different ways. Uh, Francisco, can you help me read in the first one, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, rules, verbs in general add S. Examples, live, le lives. Mm -hmm. Sit, sits. Stay, stays. Uh, the other one, teacher, or, or... That's okay, just the first Okay. One. Thank you very much. Uh, Saul, good evening. Can you help me read in the second one, please? Good evening. Uh, the second second rule okay uh, if the birth end on o mm -hmm. s what's you can spell it ash, ash. you can spell it do you know what spelling is Say in letter by letter. So you can spell it. X, we, ah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, at the end. Examples. Kiss, kisses. Mm -hmm. Fix, fixes. Catch, catches. Thank you. This one is pronounced like fixes. 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 Good. Thank you. Yes. So in general, we add s, but if the verbs uh, end in um, in this this list, o s s s h c h or x, we add es at the end. For example, mm, as a night watch. What will be the, um, how, how is the verb going to be for a third person? Uh, she watches mm -hmm. the TV. Okay, good. Yes, she watches. She you have, watches. Mm -hmm. You have to yes. pronounce the... Uh, I use the S and the finish to the... Uh, word. Correct. You have to add the S, but since it ends in CH, CH, you add ES. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh, hello, Duvan. You just joined the class. So. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm late because uh, I forget the class. <laughs> 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 that's okay today's the last class of the week so you'll get to, to sleep tomorrow or to do something else with this okay. uh, hour good so uh today we're still uh going on, on the topic the simple present topic but we are reviewing this tense for the third person do you remember what was uh the third person the one uh We learned this present, the, mm -hmm. the verb to be. No, uh, the subjects. Do you remember uh, what are the third person subjects? Uh, she, he, uh, they. Are you sure? You're almost there. She, uh, it. It, yes, good job, thank you. All right, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Yes, basically, it's basically this. The subject, you add an S or an ES to the verb plus a complement. So we are uh, learning the rules right now. Uh, let's see, Jeff, can you help me read in the, the third rule, please? Are you there? <clears throat> mm 
One, two, three. Diego, um, can you help me read in this one, please? Yes. A uh, consonant followed will be by Y. The Y changes into IES. For example, study, studies, try, tries, carry, carries. Good, thank you. Uh, this one you pronounce it like tries. Just tries. Mm -hmm. And this one is carries. Carries. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pronounce the E, just carries. Good. Thank you. Oh, and this is this verb is pronounced like followed. Followed. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank okay. you. Yes. So a Y. If it ends in a Y, we change it into I E S. Of course, you have to remove the Y. You can see it here. Study, studies. The Y was removed, and you add I E S. Is this one clear, guys? Okay. Uh, next one. Mm, Alvaro. Sure. Yes? I have one question. Go ahead. Uh, my question is, when, um, when I change, when I change uh, one verb, no, is necessary to change uh, the second verb. For example, uh, she does, she does, is, is chain. Uh, she does exercise. No, no, no is uh, necessary. Uh, We're going to, to learn that in a, in a moment. You'll see it here. Uh, but no, if you see uh, an auxiliary, you don't have to change the verb. We, we learned that yesterday. Let's see here. For example, if you were to say she doesn't read, read doesn't have an S, it's just read because you have the auxiliary telling you that is a third person. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank okay. You're welcome. Good, uh, next one, mm, Duan, please. Uh, but we follow by I, we just add S. Play, place, by, by, pray, praise. Good, thank you. Uh, this one is pronounced like vowel. Or vowel. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. the difference between this one and this one. The Y is, uh, goes after a consonant. So here, study. Guys, is D a consonant? Yeah. Yes. Yes, correct. Um, so we have consonant Y. Then we uh, change the Y into IES for play. Do you guys see uh, a vowel or a consonant? A vowel. 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 Good. So you just add the letter S. As easy as that. All right. Oh, vowel is vocal. Vocal. Mm -hmm. okay. Same vowels that we use in Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and let's see, Jeff. Are you there now? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, can you help me read in the last one? It says exceptions. Go, goes, do, does, have, has. Thank you. Be careful with this one, guys. Do is also a verb and it can be an auxiliary as well. So if I, um, I don't want, I don't want you guys answering, uh, does is a verb, when it's an auxiliary or vice versa. I don't want you to, uh, to tell me that does 
is working as an auxiliary when it's a verb. You have to be careful with the context of the sentence. So any questions about these rules, guys? No, teacher. Okay. No. Okay. All right. So now we go into this. Um, correct or incorrect? Let's see, William, can you help me read in the first two examples, please? Okay, correct or incorrect? She go to sleep at 1 a.m. every day. It's incorrect. She goes to sleep at 1 a.m. every day. It's correct. Good, thank you. All right, so yes, um, like we learned here, we use it in, affirm in affirmative sentences only, not for questions, not for negative sentences, only for affirmative ones. So here, go is in its base form or not? Adonai. Uh, she go, she go to sleep at 1 a.m. every day is incorrect. Mm -hmm. The form correct is she goes to sleep at 1 a.m. every day. This okay. is the form correct. Good. Why is this one incorrect? The one. The first one. The first one, yes. Mm -hmm. The second is correct. No, 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 but why is this one incorrect? Uh, the first is incorrect. Mm -hmm, but why? Go. Go. Mm -hmm. Is it in its base form or not? Is the form incorrect? Go because uh, uh, the form, the auxiliary is she. Good. Yes, that's an explanation. Uh, with this pronoun, you cannot use a verb in its base form. Okay, um, the one, the next two uh, sentences, please. Uh, the read. Mm -hmm. He exercise every morning, incorrect. He exercise every morning, correct. Thank you. Uh, you pronounce this like correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, exercises, not exercise, exercise. exercises. Good. Exercise. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, so as you can see, uh, exercises, which rule do you think we're um, using here? Mm, the first one. Good, Verbs yes. in general, uh, yes. Good job, yes. Exercises first rule. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it's incorrect. This is the base form of the verb. We don't use that. We add an S or an ES with this pronoun. Okay. Uh, next one, Diana. The first two, please. Uh, she. Mm -hmm. She don't go to sleep at 1 a.m. every day is in car and she doesn't go to sleep at uh, 1 a.m. every day is correct. correct. Thank you. This one is incorrect and correct. That's how you pronounce it. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes, so that's what uh, we were saying yesterday, guys. Um, let's see, do you guys remember for which pronouns we use do? Because it's a three person and just don't, that's. Good job. But the question I'm asking is which pronouns do we use? Uh, I'm sorry, for which pronouns do we use do? Don't, do not. Mm -hmm. for, for which pronouns? For first person, second person, and we and they. Good, good job. 
Okay, thank you. Yes, that's correct. And as you can see, like we learned yesterday, the verb is in its base form. It doesn't have an S because you have the auxiliary here. Okay, uh, next two, mm, Ariel. Uh, I have to read it. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay. He doesn't exercise uh, every morning incorrect. He doesn't exercise every morning correct. Good. Why is the first one incorrect? Because um, is he using the doesn't with exercise? You are using, um, <laughs> it's not necessary you use uh, the exercise with S in the end. Good job, thank you. All right, nice to know you guys are paying attention, great. Uh, so yes, doesn't exercise is correct without the S. Okay, these are negative sentences. As, uh, we are still following what we read here, only affirmative sentences. For questions, uh, Saul, can you read the first two, please? Saul? I'm oh, sorry. No Oh, uh, one, two, two. Oh, the first one, the first two. The first two, uh, correct or incorrect. Do she, do she go to the sleep at I am every day? This is, this is incorrect. Does she go to sleep at I, one I am every day? This is correct. Thank you. You pronounce this like incorrect. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. And this one is Correct. 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 Good. You are emphasizing the E. That's why. Okay. Uh, Saul, since you are the ones reading this one, um, why is the first one incorrect? Uh, because the, the subject is she. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know who says the say it in Spanish. No, no, really sorry. We learned this yesterday, so it's okay. You know this. Who's doing? Uh, who's answering? Sorry. Saul, no idea? No, no idea. Really. Okay. Uh, because she is. Because do only use in subject I, you, we, they. Good, good job. Yes, thank you. That's perfect. We don't use this for she, he, or it. We use does. That's why it's incorrect. Uh, let's see. Jeff, can you help me with this uh, too, please? Does he exercises every morning? Incorrect. Does he exercise every morning? Correct. Thank you. Correct. Okay. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. Why is the first one incorrect? Yeah, since you're the one reading them. Mm, it's incorrect because we are talking about someone else. So that means we are talking interperson. So we can't add the S 
because it doesn't need that? I mean, yes, that's right. You don't need the S, but uh, that's not the reason why you don't need it. Uh, let's see, Luis. Why don't you need the S in the verb? Because the rules say only af affirmative, affirmative, uh, Sentences. So, so a sentence, yes. <laughs> Good job. Yes. Uh, do you guys see another reason? William? Because um, I remember the other rule. It's because the verb needs in base form, I think. Good job. There uh, is also another reason. Diego. Do you see it in the whole sentence? How else could you know that exercises is incorrect? They already said because it's only used for affirmative sentences and because, uh, sorry, William, what did you say? <laughs> the verb he has to be in base form. Yes, good. It has to be in a base form. So, Diego. There is still an, uh, another reason. How could you know that exercises is incorrect? Mm, because the, the pronouns is he. Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Mm. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I think is because at the beginning for the sentence uh, uh, is uh, use a auxiliary, and the verb uh, can change. Good, that's correct. Yes, you have thus the auxiliary is already telling you that this is a third person. For example. Um, if I were to replace he for Jeff, some students, because I've seen it, I've seen it and I've been there as well. If you don't see he, you don't know which pronoun it is. So it's like, is it, is it a he, is it a she, is it an it? So something teachers tend to do in exams is give you a name instead of the subject. So if that happens, you know, it's uh, this cannot have an S because you see the auxiliary. Thus. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the last three. Mm. Please. Please. Did you say Luis? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can ah, you read okay. them, please? Uh... Do he exercise every morning? Incorrect. Uh, does he exercise every morning? Correct. Thank you. Exercise. Exercise. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. All right. So why is the first one incorrect? Uh, a ver. Uh, because use does. Mm -hmm. That's one. Good job. Mm -hmm. Another reason. Uh, because it's a it's a question. Mm -hmm. And you're almost. I there. don't remember the other reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, exercise. Is it in its base form or not? No. No. Good job. For questions. We saw this uh, yesterday. You have auxiliary, subject, and verb in base form. In base form. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. That's why it's incorrect. Thank you, guys. Questions about this. Any questions about the rules? No, it's all clear. 
Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. ¿Puede, ¿Puede repetir so, todo sobre eh, eh, el, the, ba the base form? Yes. So I was actually planning on sending you guys a list of verbs that I personally used in high school. These were very helpful to me, so I hope they are helpful to you as well. Um, base form. Let's see. Just a verb in its natural form. It doesn't have an S. It doesn't have an ING. It doesn't have an ED. It doesn't have a D. It's just a verb. It's not modified. That's how you know uh, a verb is in its base form. For example, watch. Third person. Watches. Past. Watched. Past participle. Watched. These are not the base form of the verb. This one is because it's not modified. You can see it as well. Go ahead, Adelaide. This is in past. Yes, but it's in just an example for you to know. Yes, it's just an example for you to know that um, how you can identify a base form of a verb, that it's, it's not modified. Doesn't have an S, doesn't have a D, doesn't have an ED doesn't have an ing, oh, sorry, <laughs> an ing. That's how you know this is the base form. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, watching Thanks. is in what time? Present continuous. But we're not learning that today. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, what is uh, the base form? Not, uh... Base form, correct. Okay. Or C, for example, uh, this one is an irregular uh, verb. C uh, is the base, the base form of the verb. These would be the third person. C. That's tricky. That's incorrect. Why? <laughs> because it's an irregular verb. We're going to learn that later. Not, not not right now, <laughs> but yes, saw is the past, so, seen oh, yeah. is the past participle, and seeing is the present continuous. This is the verb uh, being modified. This is the base form of the verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to send you that list. It will be very helpful to you as it was for me. Good. So, any other question, guys? Luis, was that clear? Yes, all clear. Uh, mm -hmm. Only exception, so that? Uh, um, no, it's just that for verbs, for verbs, we have regular and irregular. But since uh, you're going to see the base form, you don't need to know rules about irregular verbs because that only works for other tenses, not for the present simple. Okay. You don't need to know this, the, which are regular and which are irregular. Not right now, at least. Okay. Uh, another question, guys? I think all cleaning. Okay, all clear. Good. What about the rest? The rest is silent. It's no? all clear. Everything clear. Okay, good. Uh, again, uh, even though today is the last day of the week for, for us, um, you can still send me a message tomorrow or during the weekend and I will still answer. Um, let's see. Okay. So just a little practice. You're welcome. Okay, following the rules, let me send you the rule to the WhatsApp group, the rules. Mm. 
Where are you? Okay. I sent the rules to the to the WhatsApp group for you to have them in mind for this little practice. Let's see, William, can you help me read in this one and then modify the verb? Okay. My brother, the verb speak, three language. Um, how can I say the last? Fluently. Fluently. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think um, speaks three languages. Um, S P E A K S. Good job, thank you. Yes, and you pronounce this like languages. Languages. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> uh, next one, Duvan. <laughs> Daniel uh, wash his favorite program every Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, washes. Can you spell it? Huh? Spell it, please, letter by letter. I can understand you. Okay, let me send the word to the to the. Can I table. spell the word? Uh, you will go next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> spell to uh, point out the letters to point out the word letter by letter for example spell s p -E -L -L. oh okay l l letter for letter w a t c h e s good good job thank you Diana, next one. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Jennifer washes her hair every day. Wow. How do you spell that? W A S H E S. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. The Jeff, number four. Ryan goes to the church to church, sorry, every Sunday. Good. Spell it, please. G O E S. Thank you. Nice. Uh, William. Oh, no, I think you went first. <laughs> uh, Adonai. Next one. Uh, my sister mm -hmm. does her homework after school. Okay, good. Does. You pronounce does. it like does. Mm -hmm. does. How do you spell that? E O A S. I'm sorry. A S. A S. Uh, D. Uh, mm, no. <laughs> e. <laughs> e. How do you say that in English? Uh, A. A. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's see. You can do it. You can do it, Anna. Yes. All right. Uh, everyone, open your microphones, please. Okay. Let's let's uh, repeat after me. We'll uh, okay. we'll start with the um with the ABC. A. 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 B. A. B. B. C. Which one follows? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, I, 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 K. K, K, L, K, L, M, M, N, 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 N,
B. 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 Q. Q. R. S. S. P. T. T. U. 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 V. 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 W. W. X. 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 Y. 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 Z. 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 Good. Good job. Thank you. Like a B. We B. can practice the alphabet <laughs> with the song for children. <laughs> yes. A, B, yes. B, 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 E. E. S. S. Good job. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <There you> <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. That, Luis. that is so hard. <laughs> it is hard. It is hard. To remember the sounds of hard. the alphabet is hard. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Luis, next one. Okay. My father not likes fat spot. Good. Is it negative or affirmative? Uh, negative. Negative. Do we use likes for negative? No. Okay. What do we have for negatives? Uh, uh, um, Contraction. Are you sure? No. Follow the structure. Follow the structure. Uh, uh -huh, a verb in base form. Good. Uh -huh. How are we going to know that is uh, a third person? Aside from the subject, of course. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, for the third person is... Uh, don't like are you sure don't and does you have does, both does, does. okay right. so are doesn't, you sure enough doesn't like doesn't like good doesn't like all right negative base one and auxiliary we learned that yesterday, guys. Okay. Remember this. Good. Thank you, Luis. Uh, let's see. Jeff, last one. Andre enjoys pop music. Oh, no, no, no. Does Andre mm -hmm. enjoy pop music? Good. Good job. All right, guys. It's hard. I admit this is one of the most difficult top, uh, topics to learn when you are beginning uh, to learn English because of the rules. You can mess up with the pronunciation or how you or when exactly you add the, the S or the ES. Make sure you study this and you'll be fine. So questions. No, it's all clear to me. Okay. Yes, I have a nice question. No, <laughs> oh, teacher, thanks. <laughs> okay, good. When do we use the S and the ES, Suan? The verb in with S and ES. Uh, you can repeat, please. Yes. When do we use the verb with S or ES? Uh, S and yes. Mm -hmm. The the subject mm -hmm. only use the subject in base form. 
No, but you are you are adding an S to the verb. For which pronouns? That's today's topic. <laughs> <laughs> Let him finish, Liz. Let him finish. <laughs> S and E is. Mm -hmm. For which subjects? Uh, the subject. Mm -hmm. The the first, the third person. Third person. What are those? Is, is it, uh, mm -hmm. she, he. Okay, good. Yes, good job. Thank you. Let's see, uh, Luis, uh, for which uh, scenarios do we use the, the S in verbs? For which type of sentences? Repeat, repeat, please. Yes, for which type of sentences do we add an S to the verb? I don't understand, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> For which types of sentences do we add an S to the verb? Uh, in general verbs. Are you sure? For which type of sentences? Uh, in affirmative sentence. Good, <laughs> thank you. Not negative not questions, affirmative only. But, all right guys, uh, that was it, that was today's class. I was hoping to uh, finish this earlier, but still eight minutes. So let's stop sharing and stop recording.